Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Friday the 7th of June 2019 and we're commenting on the poor non-farm payroll report figures published this morning. The US Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that some 75,000 new jobs were created in May rather than the 185,000 most analysts were expecting. Immediately, the US dollar dropped on the news as a prelude to the assumption traders are now making that the US Fed will have to reduce interest rates as clearly the economy is slowing. Indeed, the US dollar index has dropped by almost one point to 96.5 at the time of writing. And this is indicative of the power these traders have over economic statistics. Commensurate with that dollar fall, gold has risen some $15 on the news from around 1333 to its current level of 1346. And silver has risen about 21 cents on the news from 1488 to 1509. Now, before anyone in the gold and silver community becomes too excited, stock markets have also risen, with the Dow up 226 points, already at 25,947, just shy of 26,000, and the Nasdaq and S&P are up around 1% also. So why do we say don't get too excited? Well, first of all, Although the rise in jobs was small in comparison with expectations, it was a rise. The US unemployment rate has remained at 3.6%, its lowest level for 50 years. The average increases in wages for May were 0.2%. But the overall effect was to reduce the annual wage growth rate from 3.2% to 3.1%. So ironically, despite improved employment conditions, wages appear to be holding still or falling slightly in relative percentage terms. We mean in terms of growth as opposed to actual decline. So why is this significant? Well, bottom line, there is limited, if any, inflationary pressure as far as economists are concerned. Yes, there is potential inflation in the wings because of the tariffs imposed on China and possibly on Mexico and the reduction in favoured status for countries like Turkey and India. But in general terms, gold performs better during inflationary times as opposed to deflationary times. And we are certainly not in major inflationary times. Not a for the moment. And the past eight years gives testament to that. Further, if we are entering economic slowdown, then the industrial demand for silver will fall. And that again will put downward pressure on prices, which can only then be offset by the demand for it as a quasi-monetary metal. Ah, but we hear you say, the dollar has weakened. This is the beginning of the end. The Fed will have to reduce rates in July and the dollar will weaken further. Well, our response is simple. The dollar will weaken compared to what? A basket of other countries' currencies, all of whom have their own economic problems and are themselves considering a QE strategy if they have not already involved themselves in one? We can hardly see sterling or the euro performing solidly and outrageously against the US dollar at this stage, even though traders are taking fright for the moment. Once reality sets in, do not be surprised to see that dollar index rise back up again. But let's suppose we're wrong, and the Fed does reduce rates far sooner than we anticipate, and the dollar falls another one or two points. What will happen? Will gold go to the moon? Well, not necessarily. It's possible that all available monies will actually rush into the equity markets, as they were subdued in the first half of this year because of the announcement of the Fed in December that they may raise rates. And although they have come out with a much easier policy since then, 
there has always been the suspicion that rates could still rise. So, if all of those wonderful, worthless, fiat US currency dollars don't actually head for gold and silver because of lower rates, they may actually head for the Dow, S&P and NASDAQ, at least for the short term. Now, having said that, what may cause gold and silver to rise is increasing tensions with China, Mexico, Iran, North Korea and Russia and to some extent Venezuela, especially, especially if military action is involved. And then we may see serious funds moving into gold and silver. So, for the moment, let's all enjoy the slight rise in precious metal prices. But as things stand, whilst they may rise a little further until markets have fully digested the figures, we are keeping our powder dry on any predictions of any major rise in gold and silver prices. Well, at least for now we are. Meanwhile, today and yesterday, we produced videos on our new communications channel on the Discord platform. We provide a link in the description column below if you have not already seen those videos. And if you haven't joined the platform, which is free to join, we strongly urge you to do so, as we shall all be heavily involved in discussions concerning precious metals, politics, economics, cryptocurrencies, and a whole range of other subjects. So please, if you haven't signed up to our free platform, then hurry and do so. And there you will find, far more quickly than we are able to produce the videos, at least for now, our thoughts and views as to what is happening in the news in real time. We hope you have found this video interesting and informative. And if so, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Please ensure that you have subscribed to our channel and press the bell sign so that you are notified of any future videos. Also kindly visit our website at IlluminatiSilver.com and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe either as a free or paying member for regular email updates and offers. Disclaimer. Illuminati Silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.